something that is a constant bother to me, it's been bothering me for a bit ever since I really started um, my long-term travel, well, since I was traveling, yeah, since I started my long-term travel, it's in, in, in 90, 1996, even though 80, 89 was when I really first started traveling the planet. Uh, but um, my blood pressure, when I was young, you know, it was, it was fine. You know, then then it started getting more and more and more and more. Now I live a pretty healthy lifestyle. Well, maybe I think it's healthy. Do little exercises, you know, eat right, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. But I'm on blood pressure now, and it's it's it's, a, it's the lowest dosage you could possibly get. You know, when I fit when I had my doctor in Cape Town, she gave it to me, and then you know, throughout these last you know ten years or so, I mean, it's very very low dosage, and it's pretty well in check. Blah 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 blah, you know, whatever. Sometimes the you know, so, sometimes the, the, the systolic gets a little high, but the diastolic really stays fine. Anyway, there was a, a little thing out here. So, hey, if there's a blood free blood pressure check, I sort of sit down and say, hey, check my blood pressure. So he checked. It was it's in the middle of the day. Now it's summertime. It's getting to be summertime in the house, so it's hot, you know. And so, uh, so he checked it, and it was like, you know, again the. The, the systolic was a little, not just, well, it was in normal, well, not normal, it was a little, it was in acceptable range, let's put it that way. Um, and so then I went to eat, and then I was thinking, I said, you know, I had, sometimes you can feel when you're, you know, when you're precious, whatever. So I ate, I ate lunch, and then when I finished with lunch, um, um, I had to go, I went to do a bowel movement, you know, so I did a bowel movement, and I said, well, maybe I should check it again. See if anything happened because you know pressure, blah blah blah, like like that. And a little, little digression as usual. Let me just say, and um, I had an amazing in, um, situ in incident in uh, I'll tell you when it was 1988, summer of 1988, when I was going down to the Democratic National Convention to do some uh, some uh, vox pop, some 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 work with with the uh, with the Pacifica Network down there for for that convention. You know the way with Dukakis, you know Dukakis was the blah blah, you know without Jesse Jackson. Anyway. And on the way down there, I stopped at my friend's house in, in, uh, in southern New Jersey. He's come from New York. I had bought my car, my sister's car. And then, um, um, and then after that, I had breakfast, whatever. And after that, I drove to the top of North Carolina. I, you know, stopped at the rest stop, and I had this incredible, I'm sorry, but if I hold you here, I had this incredible, this bowel moment. It's like, whew, and it's weird. I felt incredibly light. And I said, like, wow. And and I basically I drove straight from North, the top of North Carolina right to 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 to, to um uh, to Atlanta Georgia where the convention was, and I always remember that thing. It just stays with me because the feeling was like wow, the feeling of this relief, whatever have you. So now let's go back to that. So after I left, I said, well, let me take my blood pressure. So I went there, but he was packing up. So I said, oh, okay. So can I go over to the clinic? He said, sure. They're over there. I went over to the clinic, but again, there was a lot of people in the clinic. But there was also, when I got to the desk, she said, well, it's too hot to take your blood pressure because it's going to be up. Now, I've been thinking, because <laughs> when the pharmaceutical industry got you, you know, they, they special you off to the medical industry, you know, and they, you're, just, you're just there, you know. But I've been thinking, you know, I've got to really deal with this, you know, in a more natural way than these pharmaceuticals. I don't like the pharmaceutical companies. And so I, I, there's a couple of things. One, Dr. Sebi always said that it was a, um, you have to protect your immune system. Well, you have to get rid of inflammation and mucus, you know, out of your system. So that's that's you know, you know take your take your little uh, uh, turmeric with with pepper, with black pepper, and everything that you can. Okay, just a little aside. Um, but I'm thinking that we really need more bowel movements. You know, you have to eat more vegetables and stuff like that. Well, the guy at the, at the blood pressure thing, he went to this whole litany that they usually go through. And I do drink water, but I don't drink in the morning. Uh, my associate down at the Vasa, I said, Chloe, man, he's really healthy. He he drinks like a lot of water right in the beginning of the day, you know, right in the morning, you know, where you can eliminate. So so you you you, you get your little one liter or two liters of water, you know, that for two gallons of water, whatever you're supposed to drink. That's what they say, but whatever. Just drink a lot of water in the, in the first thing in the morning so you can, you know, eliminate the right. You know, and then all throughout the day, take your little sips. So that's one thing. Uh, bowel movement is important, which means a lot of veggies, you know, uh, a lot of veggies. Cut down on the meat and fats, of course. Uh, exercise, blah, 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 blah. I do a lot of walking. Da, 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 da. Okay, look, that, that's the advice from me, T, for the Pattersons, taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.